welcome to PlayPianoToday.com. This piano lesson is called Slash Chord Modulations. In this lesson, we're going to look at some very unique slash chords. In previous lessons, we've used slash chords to transform very complicated chords into manageable, easy to play chords that sound fantastic on the keyboard. But today, we've got a brand new use for slash chords. You'll love this. We're going to use them as modulation chords. Now, modulation is a big word, kind of a scientific sounding word, but it's an essential skill that you must have in your toolbox if you want to be a successful musician. Webster's defines modulation like this, a change from one musical key to another. For instance, changing from the key of C major to the key of A minor would be modulating. Here's the definition again, a change from one musical key to another. Any musician can simply jump from one key to another. However, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use slash chords to modulate or transition smoothly between keys. Not only will these slash chords enable you to move smoothly from key to key, but they're especially useful for keyboard players that play within a band. For instance, you can use them if you're playing within a band and all of a sudden you realize, uh-oh, there's another song coming up that's in a different key and we need to transition smoothly to it and you haven't had a chance to tell the band yet. Or maybe you start a song out way too high and you've got to drop it down a key before the singer's head blows off. Something like that where you need to be able to move to a different key smoothly but you haven't talked to the band. Simply by playing these slash chord modulations, your entire band will know that you're going to move to a different key and you won't have to say a single word. This is a powerful technique, especially if you're ever playing with another group of musicians. So let's get to it. There's lots of study today. We're going to be looking at three specific techniques that will come in very handy in different situations that may require you to modulate on the fly. The first technique will be how to move up a half step, for instance, from A to B flat. The second will be how to move up a fourth, for instance, from D to G. And the last technique we'll look at will be how to move down a minor third, for instance, from C to A minor. Let's go ahead now and look at the first slash chord modulation, moving up a half step. In this example, we're going to go up a half step, or from one key to the very next key up. And by way of example, I'm going to go from A major to B flat major. Now I mentioned this before, but if you're playing by yourself, there really is no conflict. You can go back and forth. You don't have to give any kind of a slash chord modulation to give anybody a heads up that you're going to move, because there really is no conflict. However, if you're playing with a singer or a band and they stay in A while you go to B flat, it's not very musical. You'll lose your job mighty quick. So let's look at how to use this slash chord modulation to go smoothly up a half step. Let me show you what the finished product sounds like up to speed and then we'll slow it way down and look at it note for note in detail. But here I am playing along in the key of A. You're playing along in A. It's a good day to play in A. I'm playing my song in A. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be in B flat. So I give a nice modulation chord and everybody can hear, hey, we're moving to B flat. Did you hear how smooth that was? Let me go back to A. I'm playing a lot of different things in A, but I'm in the key of A here. And I'm gonna give you a nice modulation chord. and get to B flat. Now I was trying to give you a sense of the finished product there, so I played a lot of stuff all over the keyboard. But now let's break it down to the nitty gritty note for note version and look at it in detail. Doing a slash chord modulation from the key of A up a half step to B flat. Let's throw in that magic modulation chord. Here's A, here's the magic modulation chord. And then all of a sudden, like a horse heading for the barn, the music has got to go to B flat, right? It has to, listen to that. 
Once you hit that modulation chord and you're in the key of A, and everybody knows where we're going. We're going up a half step. Okay, so now I could just tell you what that magic modulation chord is, and you can see it there, but I want you to know how to find it. So let's start with the chord that we're modulating from, which is A. Okay, then we want to do that magic modulation and go to B flat. So when you're in A, you have to ask yourself just a little bit of math here, just a tiny little formula, but once you get it, it's real easy to do. Here's the question. A, the note A, is the third of what other major chord on the piano? Hmm, let me ask that again. The note A is the third of what other major chord on the piano? Is it the third of E major? No, obviously not. Is it the third of C sharp? No. How about F major? Hey, bingo, there it is. A is the third of the F major chord. So when the time comes to modulate up a half step, in your right hand it's very simple. You say, okay, what chord am I playing? Well, in this case, A. Okay, the note A is the third of what other major chord? In this case, it's F major. So in your right hand, you just simply, all of a sudden, out of the blue, play an F major chord. And what do you do with the left hand? Absolutely nothing. Isn't that great? You just keep playing the A. Let me show you. <laughs> 